All right, changing up when we do SRX, because Monday nights are now Gavin's league race. So um, we're doing it Wednesday nights now, at least until Union has a match on a Wednesday. And then I have uh, won't be around for that, and I'll have to talk everyone into running a different time. It's a league race. It's <laughs> There is not a single person in here. That isn't in Discord. Nice. Awesome. Hell, we could do cautions if we wanted to. No, that would take a bit much to get everyone to coordinate. <clears throat> well, congrats to Billy. Uh, even if... Uh, James has won a lot of 87 races here, so he might be tough. Mark, always quick. Warren takes a moment to figure out the speed and then gets going. Uh, Shane was quickest in practice. Brandon's always right around my speed. Alan just won the uh, K500 in an Indy car. Completely different. Chad's a good short track racer, as is Spencer. And Devin, uh, he will probably beat me. He was a couple of tenths off of where we were all at, but I think he was just kind of running the wrong line. Uh, what I did was I just went out and got behind Billy and watched him. And uh, so what Devin needs to do right now is back off just a tiny bit and follow Billy and just kind of learn that line. But you got to get a little bit lower and clip the seam on entry, I've found, at least for me. Um, that's the only way that I've gotten it to do what I want it to do. But, uh, yeah. If I have to sit around and wait for qualifying in this race, I'm going to boot people from my league. <laughs> Chad's going to go get a drink, and James is just going to sit there, do the Florida man things. I had a weird half eye racing crash earlier where the game just dropped to like 40 frames and was stuttering and then went back up to 100 and kept stuttering really hope that doesn't happen I didn't restart the computer but uh, I've not experienced that before but I'm assuming it was some issue with dirt there's something funky has gone on with eye racing in it is doing a lot of crashing for everyone so all right well uh i don't think there's going to be much passing so this is where the race is won and lost and it's going to be very easy to overdrive it trying to get that extra speed out of it so green, green, green. there's not going to be as much grip as what we just had in our practice so i've just gotta back it down let the nose turn slightly get on it we're gonna get a little bit of rotation there and that is fine Pushing it to the center too hard. Are we going to all qualify in ticket flag, ticket flag. order of I rating? Good job to Devin. He puts it right up there in sixth, ahead of James. And uh, we are waiting on a couple of people to finish up their laps. We dropped a... S no, we're still in fifth clicked on Devin. Um, yeah, waiting on Chad. And he should be finishing up his second lap. And then we will get going.
There we go. All right, well, we qualify fifth. Inside line, I think I'm actually happy with that. Let's go racing. The estimated SOF is 3,938. That's actually a pretty good strength it's of field as well. Down, Devin's I rating is way higher than I thought it was. Maybe I'm getting them confused with someone else. Waiting on the final car to grid. <laughs> this is actually a, this is a pretty good split compared to what we got on Monday nights. So maybe this will be the new top split. Let's just hope I don't pound it into the wall, overdriving it. Everyone was saying tire wear is very bad on the right front. The cars are set up way too tight. They need to loosen the cars up. It's just... It, it's so it. tight, it's not fun. Um, and that is... That has hurt the series. Kind of like it hurt the 87s when they were going super tight setups there. But... Um, new car... And, well, obviously, the half dirt also hurts it, just because not a whole lot of people do crossover with dirt and oval, um, which is kind of weird, especially short tracks. But we, uh, we got a chance to earn some points here, but based on how Five Flags was... Five Flags was, uh, and how this track is, it's going to be very difficult to make a pass, especially if it gets a little loose off the corner. One to go, take the time by. But Billy did not get the pull, Mark got the pull. So they're going to have a little battle up there. And I don't know what Billy's best option is. Is it to try to stay to the outside? Or drop in and conserve? About to go green. Stay or focused. Mark might just check out. Hide car is off. Be ready. Let's we'll see what we can do here. Green, green, green. A little bobble with my shift. I got scared, I tried to no-clutch it, and then I got worried, and I clutched it, and that slowed us down. Big no shove. Got on throttle too early. Oh, pushing up. Don't wreck Allen. Oh. Don't wreck yourself. Okay. Drop in here. Keep Florida man behind us. Billy going for the pass. Is he going to be able to get it done? Such a different line that you got to take with these, it feels just compared to everything else we run. I know the Silver Crown, I was running a little lower, but... Devin lost one spot. That outside tends to do that at the short tracks. But here, it's kind of strange that the outside wasn't an advantage, although it was for Allen against me, but that's a, that's a whole different battle. Shane going for the pass. Okay, 
Don't cut down like that. Too many seams we cut across. Transitions and banking. 23.461. Alright, well we've seen two passes. So it can be done. But can it be done by me? And are we even quick enough to catch up with Alan? Everyone's kind of using just different lanes. I've definitely moved to a different spot than what I practiced in. Uh, let's go with last lap. Speeds are definitely really slow right now. But based on how I have been since Stafford, we're probably going to fall apart late in the race. I thought James was going to the wall there. definitely picked up his entry pace, pushing it harder, where I've backed up mine. Let's go back to best lap. Ahead of us, can we close in on them? Take advantage of whoever comes out behind. down the track a bit. Still just a little sketchy over that seam. Shane is catching Billy. got a hell of a battle going on behind us. Five cars stacked up on top of each other. They're almost three wide back there. Almost halfway. I feel like the tighter the car is, the longer these races feel. Just because it's just really boring to have to fight a tight car. I know we're getting loose crossing the seams, but on entry this thing just does not turn. I'm going to be surprised if James is quick at the end. It looks like he's eating up that right front. I did move the brake bias back. Um, I don't normally touch it, but I needed a little extra rotation on entry here. Got Spencer, who has worked his way through. 
and is closing. Warren behind him has just moved up. This, this line that we're all running is so much higher than what I practiced. So I gave uh, Devin some bad advice. That's what I get for watching Billy do a hot lap and thinking that is the way to go. something here. Allen had a little moment off the corner there. Shane's going for the lead. Car outside. Outside clear. 23.665. Very too low. Even way too low there. I'm going to North Wilkesboro it and hit the grass off the corner. Don't ask me what I was doing there, James. I don't know what the hell I was doing there. A way too tight car trying to pass someone on the inside. I got way too safe. But I can't let him run me down too much. Oh, he didn't run me down that much because now we're shoving him up into the wall. A little short track race in there. He backs off though. Oh, back to our outside. All right. We made a pass. 23.889. You're back in fourth position. I think he's really fallen. Just looks like out of the corner. He's just waiting on it so long behind us. Shane has got the lead. I feel like we're gaining, even running down here a bit. So if we can trick him into going down there, he might loop it off the corner. Or get loose and that'll help us. As long as we don't run into the back of him if we're too close. I tried to win that. I tried to win it. Almost overdrove it. Overdriving. Let's not wreck Mark. I let him drive me down too much there. Kind of had to back out there with all of them closing in on us. He needed me to get that pass done quicker. Short track racing happening. A little bump in there through the center. Car feels really good now. I think I've kept the right front on it. We won't be able to catch these guys, but 
hopefully we can pull away while they're battling behind us and take a third, which will probably be the most points that we get this season. James just put it in the wall. On the gas too early. There is no turn on exit. Not when I say that high. Awesome though to see Shane go up and get the win. As long as he doesn't loop it off of two. And here comes James somehow with right front. Running right up by that wall. But that's going to be a tough pass. He's going to have to go low. That tight. Too early. Didn't get it turned down enough to rotate. Now I've let these guys catch back up a bit. Stop trying to go fast. Just go. going to stay away from that wall. We're pulling away from them down here. We have no reason to hit the wall on exit. Thinking about going low, he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to do something different. He's cutting low off the corner. He's gonna have the nose. Nope, he didn't get the nose. And Allen working his way back there. Oh, too tight. Watching the mirror, not hitting my marks. Great job to Shane. Good job to Billy, as always great racing that was a good fun clean one I don't think we're gonna have anything to look at it's like Devin fell back to 11th so he qualified well but just started getting shuffled and this might be an all zero incidents yep but there was actually actually racing unlike five flags uh, what do we got 7485. <laughs> Allen had the same right front. Mark had 64. Yikes. Chad 65. Billy 63. But he used it up early, so he had room. Brandon 58. Ouch. Spencer, 70. But, yeah, all zeros. Let's uh, see if there was... I mean, there was a little bit of contact. Spencer's going to grab the wall. Devin's going to... 
snag the wall. Probably prediction code, though. This one ain't, though. Overdrove there with car on the inside. Warren comes home in eighth into the wall. And Mark's going to grab the wall. That probably didn't help his speed. So, a little contact off the corner. Brandon saves it. But, yeah, awesome stuff by everyone. So, let's take a look at the results, see what we got for points in that one. Maybe. My computer does what I ask it to do. Here we go, we get 54i rating, 8 safety rating, 169 points on the season. So, um, let's, uh, let's go take a look see if official series is up to date and it might be Warren and I are tied um, yeah so that's possibly where we're at but it might not have updated sometimes it's slow to do that so um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed it. It was actually kind of fun. So, thanks for watching.